Hey guys, welcome to another video. So uh, next week I'll be starting driving lessons with my nephew Rajan who I've already introduced uh, on the channel. So this week I thought I'd do a quick video on my five top tips uh, before you begin your driving lessons. So um, the first one is uh, probably the most important one is getting yourself a really good driving instructor because um, don't get me wrong obviously most uh, driving instructors out there they're pretty good but you will get some that aren't really too bothered about your progress and um, yeah just there to take your money really yeah so um, getting good uh, getting a good driving instructor um, Firstly, go on recommendations. So any friends and family who have um, recently taken driving lessons, ask them how the driving instructor was, how they found them, were they calm, uh, patient, and um, uh, did they give them good feedback, were the lessons structured uh, really well or not. And uh, yeah, so those are the main things to ask for. And uh, if you don't have a family member or friend who can recommend anyone, then your next option is to go online and look out for good reviews. Um, yeah, and um, even with the reviews, make sure they're from a trusted website um, like um, Trustpilot and uh, other websites like that. Uh, yeah, definitely look out for reviews. And um, then, obviously, you're only really going to find out how good your instructor is um, after having a few lessons with them to see if you're comfortable with them how they teach and uh, yeah if you're progressing well or not so yeah that was the first one um, make yourself make sure you find yourself a good driving instructor the second one follows on from the first so when you're looking for the driving instructor you've got to make sure you do this well in advance because most good driving instructors especially now are fully booked here yeah. so I'd say book around two months in advance to make sure you do get your slot here yeah. and uh, uh, also when you're booking make sure you tell your driving instructor that you want a regular weekly slot here yeah. there's no point um, starting driving lessons uh, with an instructor who can't give you regular weekly slots so yeah definitely book in advance like I said the waiting times at the moment are quite high and most driving instructors will be booked up yeah so yeah you don't want to leave it last minute because say if um, I get I get lots of phone calls or I could have a lesson next week there, there, there is absolutely no chance yeah The third one, also really important, make sure you prepare for your first driving lesson. So gain as much knowledge as you can about the topic that you'll be covering on your first lesson. So for those of you who have never dri driven before, uh, what you'll be doing on your first driving lesson is the cockpit roll controls and moving off and stopping. And what a lot of instructors do tend to do, which is quite important, they go through all the controls and um, the pedals and everything there is to go through, which if it's done thoroughly can take up to about 45 minutes, yeah. But a lot of learners, like you on your first lesson, lesson you don't want to um, sit there parked up talking about the controls for that long because you're not going to remember all that knowledge um, straight away yeah so for those of you who are regular viewers know of the ultimate driving course and that's what it's there for so you watch the video beforehand so you'll you'll enter the car with the correct knowledge and that'll save a lot of time on your lessons yeah so for each of your lessons make sure you've got the knowledge beforehand otherwise your instructor will have to spend a lot of time explaining it all Number four is to start revising your theory. It's never too early to start revision for your theory test. Look, what you learn on your theory goes hand in hand with your practical driving. And um, you don't want to be in that situation where you're driving quite well and you're still waiting to pass your theory because you can't book your practical driving test until you've passed your theory, yeah. So the benefits, um, you won't have to hang around um, waiting to pass your theory if you're ready for your practical quite quickly. And the other thing, you'll have um, really good knowledge about um, rules of the road, road signs, and so on, yeah. And um, the app that I recommend for the theory is a brand new app called the Complete Theory Test Kit. And yeah, you can download, download that from the App Store. 
available both on um, Android and um, Apple yeah so um, that is the app that I will be using a lot more in the videos to give you guys more videos about the theory test and uh, yeah um, that's the company that I've teamed up with and will be providing you with valuable content to help you with your theory And finally, number five is about having the right footwear. So when you first start learning to drive and you've got no experience, yeah, having the right footwear can have a massive impact on how you get on. Um, it's like when you are experienced, like you could probably drive with the uh, most kinds of footwear on. But like I said, when you first start out, you've got to make sure you have the right footwear. And um, what I would recommend is having something that's light with a thin sole and wearing the same pair um, every week so you get fully used to it yeah and those of you who are regular viewers know that I have my own footwear brand footwear especially designed for driving and those of you who are watching can now get £10 off by using the voucher code in the description below and uh, yeah that's it really guys so those are my top five tips and I will see you next week in um, Rajan's first driving lesson video. So um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And any of you who are starting out on your driving lessons, I wish you best of luck.